good day everyone and in this video i will guide you on um how to assess materials or let's say the materials you could easily assess in the design and development of electronic system and um this particular video is a video i wanted to build uh unless i wanted to make for a very long time because i've gotten lots of people unless a lot of demand from persons that have been following my works online asking me some of the materials that has proven resourceful for me while in the design and development of electronics so stay tuned in this video as i'm going to guide you on those textbooks that are needful for basic um, learning of electronics design and development and also some of the softwares i am going to be sharing with you alongside with the libraries stay tuned as you get to see more on this video <music> All right, so far, let me start with the textbook. And what the first one I have here is um, electrical and electronics, electrical and electronic principles and technology by John Baird. John Baird is, um, is one man um, that has written a lot of textbook ranging from engineering mathematics down to electronics. And if you look detailly, okay, let me zoom this. If you look detailly to the nature of um, his course, con um, his write up. So you, you will get to see that he's more of um, a technical person in terms of um, calculations. He did, more in, of, he did more in electronics with the calculations other than um, real life approach. And that is why I would recommend this particular textbook if you want to learn more of the calculative part of electronics, which basically is a, is a, is, is a design but if you want to truly design electronics, you need to understand the distinct calculations that amounted to such theory, such calculations, such uh, formulas and um, laws per se. And this particular textbook is, so, is, is one textbook that will really guide you and um, provide for you all you need to know about electronics calculations. Okay, as you can see here, we have lots of things, resistors in parallel, resistors in series. And this particular, um, this particular uh, calculation has really helped this particular formula you are seeing this formula you are seeing has really been a great tool in the development of um, transducer electronics or let's say the, the development of our sensors and electronics ranging from NTC sensors where I designed LUDR um, what was it called um, LUDR sensor laser security system NTC sensor this particular understanding this particular law will really leverage a particular user or let's say a student on how these electronics work and that is all you need to know it's quite a very good textbook that uh, lay more of this emphasis on calculations and if you want to really start electronics i know this part will likely be a, a big deal for you but if you take if you take time read it step by step you'll be able to understand how these things works and i really love going back to this book anytime i'm dealing with um transformers transformer ratio semiconductors and the rest there are really a lot of information i do get from here and i keep getting from here so i use this particular textbook while i was studying engineering and also i'm currently using it likewise even now i'm currently working so is, is a great resources and i believe any anyone starting off electronics having hand on this particular textbook will be a great tool for him or her in the development of um, the knowledge of electronics and that is all for this one so the next one is practical electronics by paul scares i don't know if i pronounced it right paul scares or paul shares all right so this is a textbook or let's say it's a pdf file that i use more often the reason why I use this more often is that this man had to use lots of analogy in explaining electronics. The analogy he presented in semiconductors, device, capacitors, like he has to use real life approach to explain how these stuff work. So he, he, he dealt a little bit on calculation, but more, more, more on physical assembly. Where you'll be seeing a lot of circuitries. These are just more of the prelim preliminary, the basics. Let me just go into, let's say, chapter four. Let's start with chapter four. Okay, let's start here. How capacitors work. So this is one of the analogy was using to explain capacitor. How capacitor was using analogy. He presents a very great um, picture, and these pictures you can see. These pictures try as much as possible 
to explain how capacitors work. I really love what he do. And one good thing I like um, from this particular textbook is that as the man is explaining all these processes, he still give you a, a, a simple circuit that explains, or will I say, that depicts the, 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 the terms or the functionality of a particular component. As you can see, he explained here how capacitor can act as a signal filtering um, device, um, types of capacitor, a lot of things, and he just tries as much as possible. Okay, here, capacitor was acting as a filter circuit. Capacitor acting as a passive integrator, passive differentiator, spike and noise suppression, a lot of information, resource pay information. This one is a simple oscillator. So there are really great tools this uh, textbook or this PDF present, and really, I really recommend this one. At least for a beginner, this should be the number one. Let me start with this. Use this particular textbook uh, first and foremost, then you can. Um, leverage on um, John Bed textbook in order to like expand further um, how the, the the basics are created. I mean, boiling down to um, the calculations. That's what I mean by that. So John Bed pre present the calculation, the detailed calculation, the detailed um, technical parts that integrate or say that came together to form a particular function or let's say a particular um, um, information theory. A lot of things and this particular man um, Paul shares then present this information in a wider scale using the kind of things you see often to explain how these stuffs or these um, basic stuffs work and that's a very good approach if you really want to learn electronics so I would recommend for um, scales uh, electronics practical electronics for inventors then I would then recommend secondly um John Bell. that's for me though choice can vary depending on your um your own um part okay so this one is a juno cookbook um that's if you want to not learn a juno so this when you start working on programming so a juno cookbook is is a good tool but there is this textbook i will recommend this one hands on electronics by john boss or John Boss or this is really 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 great. I mean, this is a tool I used and I really love this concept. Let me see what I can just so he explained everything ready from I do you know what a sketch is, how a sketch is common. Like oh, if you go, go into a Juno cookbook, a Juno cookbook is great, but the thing is the the teachings we are more as if you already have a basic information about a Juno. So I do know cookbook started. Uh, you can see they just after the installation they did a little bit of preliminary, but they just diving into programming at the very first chapter. And for a very, um, well, let's say new person coming into this field, getting to see code the very first time might not even understand the details of what um, the concept of programming entails. And that is why I will recommend uh, okay, not practical electronics. I will recommend John Boss all. Uh, electronics um program as you know sorry there's a moment let me okay so he has to start from the scratch to explain the past the pin at what those pins do the structure of arduino then before he went into id uh, the arduino id he created a first sketch so he has to explain everything step by step this is the title by menu by icons and a lot of things and i mean this is this is a great resources i I, I I'm not I'm not imposing a particular test to you. I'm just giving you a lot of information that you can choose for yourself. And a very good thing is that I've made these informations available online. I I will drop the link on the video description so that you can download it. Everything has been uploaded um, in my Google Drive, so you can easily download and then pull out from there. So this is a very good textbook. I would recommend if you want to start from the scratch. You don't have anything about it. You know, the only thing you know is let's say basic electronics. So with this particular textbook, you can really leverage on the information presented. And um, another tool, as you know, you can easily download the software. So I don't need to share that. You can easily download the software. Then the software I added was Protus. So Protus Professional. So um, this particular software is a very good software if you want to do simulation. So this is the file you're going to see once you open my Google Drive. So after installing this particular app, this is the library. I've compiled lots of libraries, about 348 libraries I've gotten online and from um, friends likewise. So I've been able to compile lots of libraries. So how you do this is once you've um, installed this, once you've completed the installation of this particular 
software the next thing you then do is you go to your c drive for me i have to partition the c drive and the d drive so you go to your c drive where you have your program file so for me that is it here you go to lab center that is after you've completed the installation you will then see Protus 8 professional then you go to the library on open once you open it you will not see any you see here to be scanty and that is why when you open the app you're not be, when you open the software you will not be able to like run anything so what you're going to do you go back and copy the library you go back to this folder okay there's a moment you go back to this folder all right i'm just exploring my system now so you go back to this folder open the library which is 348 items for now copy it Control a, copy it and then you paste in the c drive library which is here they have already pasted my so there's no need of paste so once you've done that you close everything you close everything and then go to the icon which is here you open it once you go to the icon you open it then you can start up a new project once you start up a new project um okay let's just wait for it to load a little bit so you start a new project and um uh, you start designing provided you have basic information on that though a um, new project let's just save a new project nothing more nothing less uh, new project okay let me just new project let me use a, a new one tutorial okay so let's save it as tutorial so you just open that's it um the point let's say for five time now so you see a lot of info components you just pick and you start designing then you you just go pick your information and start designing 